Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this episode, I'm going to be testing out some trap ideas I've come up with from the testing the... You cheeky little shite. You triggered the trap running past it. Three of them. Maybe I should have built it over a little bit more. Um, yeah, going to test some of the trap ideas I've got. Uh, because cannibals go for certain structures, I'm going to focus on that. That's so distracting. And work out ways to bait them into traps using, you know, the things that they can damage. They're not overly complicated designs, but uh, I'll make them work. Now, I've turned off the difficulty scaling. If you watch my, uh, what's it called, live stream, you'll see why. <laughs> because it was just insane. I had a Virginia get hit by 10 different deadfall traps and it didn't die. Babies took eight hits for the modern X. It was just too much. So I have no problem with the actual difficulty. What the hell? The deadfall trap killed that. Must have. Yeah, I think the game's hard enough, like the, the monster difficulty is hard enough, but the, the amounts of monsters, I want to increase that. So while I was making bone armor before, I realized that I've actually used up all my cloth. Uh, which is a little bit frustrating. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and check the main cannibal village because I've heard stories. Oh yeah, it doesn't respawn. So what I said in my rating explain video is actually fake news. I've heard stories that it does respawn after a certain amount of days, but I don't think that's the case because it doesn't look like it's respawned. But you can always use effigies. Oh, I wasn't ready for him. Oh. They're pissed off at me. I need to upgrade my axe. Oh, sneak attack. So I'm going to do a quick raid of here. And get what I can. I think pretty much cloth is out of the question. Suitcases are always viable though. There's two here. Oh. Oh, why is he dying so easy? That was like three hits. I wonder if it's a mod thing. Okay, so I got all the bones, and what I'm going to do... Okay, so it looks like there's an increased amount of cannibals. Um, I'm going to go down here, because I've really got to find some cloth. I'm desperate at this stage. Some snacks here. Snacks are quite hard to get in this game, I've noticed. Soda's ridiculously easy, but snacks are hard. Now, I don't know if they've respawned. I don't know. I doubt they will, but we'll see. Okay, they haven't respawned here. Oh, got to remember to come up here. There's three snacks up here. And some hearts. Can't use them. Really sucks that they've removed the Fire Plus upgrade and removed a lot of the cloth spawning. That's uh, just going to make things a lot more difficult, I think. There's more snacks down here where Timmy's toy head is. Yeah, it's like the enemies have gone to normal difficulty. I might have to use console commands to check that out. I don't remember what used to be down here because I never used to come down here. It was pointless and boring. Okay, so I'm just going to dispatch these. Oh, there's a lot. And I can't set them on fire either by the looks of it. Okay, so I've leveled up. Jesus Christ. Let's try this. Look at them do it. I can't see. There we go. Come on, light. There we go. That's what I wanted. I don't know if this is glitching. I don't know. It feels smart to me. For some reason, it's really hard to see. Oh, a massacre. Three kills. Are they all dead? I think so. Four kills. Yeah, that's a good trick to do. Though you're going to have to use a quick build key of some kind. Burn these all. And I'm probably just going to make some bone armor. 
bone arrows have become completely redundant ever since modern arrows are being added to the game. I don't think they thought it through too well. I can't use any of these bones. Because I've got no cloth. I've got two pieces left. I could just make some bone arrows. Save wasting them. This is a deep pool. It goes very deep and there's nothing at the bottom of it. Unless they changed it, but I'm pretty sure there's still nothing down there. Mixtape. I wonder if it's on fire. God, you don't even need to climb that. Oh, what's up here? From memory, it's not much. I actually came down here to see if there was uh, any extra enemies. It looks like there is. What's this? Oh, too many strongs. Okay, there's booze, sticks, and booze. That's pretty much it. No, I can't use the booze. Because I've got no sap, so I can't use the upgrade. Anyway, I'm out of here. Basically, they don't really balance the caves well, from what I've seen. Like, if there's a lot of enemies, most of the time there's no good stuff there. But if there's, like, no enemies, there's got to be good stuff there. It's weird. Might as well collect these mushrooms around here. Give them a use. Speaking of which, I think I leveled up. Three upgrade points available. That's a lot. Can upgrade my sprint speed a lot faster. By end game, I'll be able to run super fast. Like, already, I'm feeling it. It's gotta be fast. I'm gonna try out this trap idea here. I'm gonna build two. Looks like they're already here. So just ah oh, random placement. I'll put one here and one here. Oops, I shouldn't have completed that because it's not gonna work. Oh no, it's gonna work. So what I'm gonna do is place that in here. Doesn't look realistic, but. So, uh, shouldn't have completed that one either. What am I doing? And this one is just one single defensive wall pole. Like that. Because they love to attack him. I'm going to see how these work out. Now, I need sap, so I'm just going to make a sap collector here. I don't know if it's going to be viable. Hopefully, I don't accidentally cut down this tree. Good idea would be to add a light to it. But I need sap for it. This <laughs> can't win. Alright. I'm going to build another bonfire because I really want to keep the enemies coming here. Plus it helps us seeing. I can't make the game bright like I used to. Which is a pain. Okay, I'm covered in blood, but I don't think I can wash the blood off here. It's not deep enough. Which is most unfortunate. Okay, I was just about to finish the night off, and this guy showed up. <laughs> you were very effective. Time to eat. Uh-oh. Quick. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, 2,400 2, calories? Not close enough. Oh, they're here. Okay. I wonder if I can reset them from here. Nah, you can't. I'll put these bones away because. Jeez. I have to wake up to this. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is probably the best trap idea I've ever come up with. It works so well. So cheap, too. Very practical. It's a unique screen. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's wasting too much, too. Ah! <laughs> First time for everything. Okay, they're here. What's he doing? Oh! Ah, oh, you bastard. Oh! <laughs> he tripped it, but he didn't go for the drying rack. I'll put these legs on here. See if that will draw him in. Okay, so my bone basket is completely full. I'm affected. Didn't even know. Place it here. Need more sticks. There we go. Drop these in. All these bones are going to be pretty useless unless I can find some cloth. I've got an idea of where to get cloth, but I'm going to save it for another episode though, because it's, it's a long walk from here. Okay, so I'll cure that. There we go. 
I'm going to do is cut down some of these trees that are very close to the uh, deadfall dial because I don't want an armsy to come along and knock him down. Oh, hidden body, you didn't even see him there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start building just a small platform, something like that. I've just got too many logs and I want to use them up. I don't want to become a log hoarder again. Now I've got to figure out a way to defend this because they will probably go for it, especially the cannibals. Oh, good. I trimmed that little thing. Ah, oh, still skip around. So what I'm going to do in this season is I'm going to do something I've always wanted to do, but I just never done it. And that is build a house, but keep adding onto it. So I'll remove parts and add onto it rather than just building this big, massive house. Kind of add onto it and see what happens. I don't know how it will turn out, but we'll see. So with this, there's no actual plan going into it. I am just building. And I think in the past I over plan things and then I have to improvise. So what this is just going to be is just improvisation. Building on and see where that takes me. Okay, so that's done. So I'm going to mark this. Let's go like that. And like in that video I mentioned, you want to mark the wall that if that wall fell, this roof would fall. So I'm marking that one so I can make edits later on. I'm clearing the stumps so I don't trip on them. I've got a bad habit of that. So I like to keep it clear. That's coming along nicely. I'm going to go grab those log carts from down there. There's no enemies showing up. I don't know why. Hopefully I run into some along the way. It's dark as a monk's buck plug down here. Oh, you cheeky little bastard. I've got no stamina to be fighting him. Ah, oh, you stole my kill. I wanted the experience. You nugget. Oh, you just jumped right in front of me while I push this cut. Okay, they're at the base. I leave and they show up. Cheeky bastards. Let's take some blueberries for now. I've got enough calories, I believe. Oh, you bastard. Okay. He just triggered six of them. So it does have its downfalls. The downfalls of the deadfall trap. Oh, got him. And I got a level two. Sweet. Apparently something cool happens when you get to level ten. Oh, God. I'm looking forward to seeing what that is. <laughs> he tried to sneak up on me. God. There was none for ages. Now there's like 15 here. I'm struggling to keep up with rearming them and put them on the fire. I suppose that's a good thing, isn't it? Uh, not if your sole job in this game is bone collection. Okay, so it looks like these traps over here may have worked. I'll come back and check them out after I dump this. I'm picking up the bones as I'm going because they can despawn. Oh, uh, yeah. They did get something. Both of them did. I don't know if they tried to attack it or if they just ran into it. Can't tell. Oh, that got two. Wow. And the legs, yeah, the legs are still there. So these trap ideas might be good. Very economical way to attract the cannibals. There we go. That's my little house done. That's going to be turned into a big house. Okay, so put a little staircase here. There you go. Five logs. That's good. There we go. Nice little house here. I'll put a chandelier on this one because I'm getting a lot of bones. Is that about the middle? Yeah, good enough. Ooh, cloth. You bastard. It's a good way to get rid of some of these bones, because jeez, man, so many. But that's enough for one episode. In the next one, I'm going to find a cave that's got a lot of cloth in it. Uh, there's a couple I've got in mind, and it just depends how far I want to walk. I might just try at the Katana Cave, because it's just over there. Not far at all. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers. <laughs>